and so we went for it. We were very close, but um, I think I kind of didn't have expectations. I was just ready to take her business and try to get a big cue. So now it's a waiting game, and you know, make sure we get any points. I thought you like the Willie at the top, yeah. low, uh, small queue. Yeah. Um, what do you think it's going to take for you to kind of go to that next level? Obviously, you've got a big breakout season, you know, lowering your PBs, you know, race after race. Yeah. But now that you're going up against the best in the world, how are you kind of strategically focusing on that final, if you're in? Yeah, so right now it was just make the final. That was just the goal right now is make the final. And then, you know, once we get to the final, I think the nice thing is I, we haven't really seen where my – you know, my cap is or where my limits are and so I just want to put no limits on myself and give myself a shot and was, just a chance. Sorry. How does the body feel right now? Because you know, college athletes, they have a pretty long season. We're now yeah. into like middle of July. How are you feeling? I feel great. I mean, the nice thing is Coach T and I, the goal was always to try to make it to Worlds into the final. So Coach T, I, I know I've, I've been kind of repetitive on that, but she really has made it so that I feel good and I'm, I'm ready to, you know, keep going and hope for the best. You are just signed with On yeah. at USA's. You didn't wear their spikes there, but today you did. Yes, I have the On spikes. Let's see. Awesome. Is this the first steeplechase that anyone's running On spike? Is that? I think I think so. Maybe not. I don't know about, you know, some of our European team, but I'm not sure. But as far as I know for the US, yeah. How'd they feel? Was it? They know? were good. Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, I've been testing them and they're awesome. They're phenomenal. I really love them. What was the crowd like on that for you? Oh, it was spectacular. It was it was really fun. Like, you know, you can just feel their energy and that that was a really cool experience. Yeah. Did they give you a bigger reception on the start line because you're American or Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And um, but it's cool that it's so cool how many people come out and are just ready to support us. I think that is so special and it's it's an honor to compete on the track with so many people just cheering for you and supporting you. Yeah. How much family and friends do you have in town? Yeah, so my husband and my parents came and then my sister and her family and then the rest of my siblings couldn't come and my in-laws couldn't, but they're all watching out there. So it's, I, it's like I still have their support. He's not here. Yeah. Was there any really good advice or conversations you had with anyone the last couple of weeks getting ready for the world championships about, you know, how yeah. to handle it any differently? I would say mostly just Coach Taylor. It's just have confidence. I think that's the key is have confidence and know that you belong there. And so I think I just went in with that and, you know, hopefully get into that final and we can keep that going. Has she coached someone at a world championship before? Uh-huh. This, this is our first rodeo. So is this like... It was exciting for her as well. How's how she handling? Yeah, I mean, Coach T's incredible, and um, yeah, it, we're we're treating this like how we've treated every race. You know, there's I don't think that there's any reason to. I mean, it is a big meet, but like we know how to race, and and this is the fun part. And so it's been a really fun journey with her. It, it's fun to have a lot of firsts with her.